Hello, my name is Dr. Rosemary Schultz and I'm an orthopedic surgeon specializing in sports medicine at Aurora Advanced Healthcare in Milwaukee. Today I'm going to talk about anterior cruciate ligament injuries. Any sports medicine or any sports minded person more than likely would have heard of an anterior cruciate ligament or the ACL. Many of you probably have had friends, family, or even your favorite sports heroes injure this very important structure. So what is the anterior cruciate ligament? How do you injure it? What do we do for it? And what are the signs and symptoms of the injury? First of all, just a very basic anatomy lesson. The anterior cruciate ligament, if we were to simplify the knee, taking away the kneecap, we see four main ligaments in the knee. There are two on either sides of the knee, one on the inner half, which is called the medial collateral ligament, or MCL. The other is on the outer half of the knee, called the lateral collateral ligament, or LCL. In the center of the knee, linking the thigh bone, the femur, to the shin bone or the tibia, are the two crossing ligaments, or cruciate ligaments. One lies in front of the other, and therefore it is called the anterior cruciate ligament versus the posterior cruciate ligament. And here is the anterior cruciate ligament in the center of the knee. The main importance of this ligament is stability. Now, how does a person injure this type of ligament? One is through a twisting injury. So if there is any torquing or pivoting, the anterior cruciate ligament can be injured. The other would be through a hyperextension where the knee is extended beyond the level normal. And the other is through a quick stop. What happens when the anterior cruciate ligament is injured? One usually hears or feels a pop in their knee. It's not, it doesn't happen all the time, but many times one can feel the pop. Subsequent to this, you usually cannot continue playing the sport that you're in. You usually have to be helped from the field, and many times your, feet, your knee feels very weak or it may feel like it will give way. Fairly soon afterwards, at least within the next 24 hours, your knee swells quite large. And after that, obviously, there's pain. As the pain and swelling improve, the knee does feel better, but unfortunately, a person is left with a feeling of weakness or instability. So what do we do to decide whether a person has injured the anterior cruciate ligament? Well, many times we can get x-rays, but x-rays only show if we have a break in the knee. The main uh, diagnostic treatment or diagnostic finding would be that of an MRI scan. The MRI can show us if there are soft tissue injuries, meaning ligaments or cartilage tears. What do we do for an ACL tear? The anterior cruciate ligament usually does not heal by itself, and therefore one is left with either conservative management, which means we have to do things to work around a deficiency, which means to work on rehabilitation to make the knee stronger, to avoid activities that may bother the knee, and unfortunately those are activities usually the athlete likes to participate in, such as running or jumping sports. And then finally, the other is if you want to participate in those sports, occasionally people can use a knee brace, which may stop them, which may stop their knee from giving way. It is not guaranteed, however, because the brace fits not on the bone itself, but around the muscles of the bone, and with that, there's play in the system, and the knee could still give way in a brace. So what are our other alternatives? Unfortunately, it is surgery, and surgery does involve reconstructing this ligament in the inside of the knee. The reconstruction, again, is not to put stitches in it because, as I said before, the ligament does not heal on its own. So usually we use a substitute, and the substitute can come from the person's own body. Many times it is the patellar tendon, and I usually like to use this tendon as a substitute for your old tendon, taking a small piece of bone from the kneecap and from the shin bone and an intervening one-third of the kneecap tendon which is then brought inside the knee and placed in the area of your old anterior cruciate ligament. Have other, uh, like other tendons can be used as well such as that of the hamstrings or you could use an alternative donor graft which would be that from a cadaver. Nevertheless, it requires a lot of hard work afterwards, a lot of rehab, but usually a person can get back to doing their athletic endeavors fairly successfully afterwards. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed our little presentation today, and I certainly hope that you don't injure your anterior cruciate ligament.